Hey guys, this is PC here from Global Alpha Search. Just a quick Monday update. Uh, as uh, some of you are possibly worried about their portfolios, uh, I know some of uh, the Etorians uh, and uh, the popular investors uh, have been uh, kind of bleeding on their equity portfolios, uh, especially when you want to take a deeper look into the uh, smaller companies, the breadth of this market is not really that well. And, uh, you know, we're basically heading into a season of seasonality. I have written a post uh, lately about that uh, showing quite nicely that the, throughout the year on a long-term perspective uh, period between August and October are usually uh, the months when uh, stocks are underperforming and you know any reason is uh, good for uh, for a correction uh, for now it's not a big correction but uh, the market is just uh, having its kind of troubles that there's a lot of rotation quite a bit of volatility in the smaller uh, uh, equities uh, the the biggest indices like the S&P is being held by some of the biggest blue chips that are still quote, holding quite well uh, especially the reopening uh, sectors are struggling uh, there's this delta virus spreading lately that basically uh, you know puts some renewed fears on the into the investors uh, minds about the fifth wave uh, wave of uh, the COVID-19 pandemia uh, that we have experienced uh, the whole last year and most of this year uh, so yeah there is uh, uh, quite a bit of uh, things to think about. Uh, there's obviously fears of slower growth because of that. Uh, we're seeing oil prices uh, falling lately and uh, this is not helping as well. Uh, but I'm here to tell you two things, basically. Uh, one thing is that I'm uh, thinking that uh, any kind of uh, uh, correction is going to be healthy and uh, we're prepared uh, to basically uh, go through it. Our portfolio has done quite nice uh, compared to uh, some uh, of the other pro popular investors portfolios and uh, it was a down week but uh, we're still doing just fine down a bit. We're exposed to good uh, blue chip stocks mostly as I have been uh, showing you in uh, my latest mid-year uh, update of the portfolio. We have other assets in the portfolio constantly like the long-term treasuries and gold that have zero or negative correlation with equities so we're well uh, ex uh, exposed uh, I might do a little bit of hedging maybe going forward and I might switch from some of the names that have performed well in the portfolio into some uh, other ones that uh, in which I will see some buying opportunities uh, please remember a couple of things going forward we are in the early uh, phase of the cycle in the recovery uh, and uh, you know corrections are uh, a normal thing uh, but in this phase in this economic cycle phase any bigger correction uh, should be used to basically get uh, allocation in good quality uh, stocks for the long term the fed is still buying i have just been uh, looking through the uh, uh, through the fred uh, website the st louis fed called fred uh, lately and uh, you know the latest data are showing quite clearly uh, that uh, you know the fed is basically still doing its job uh, quite nicely let me just show you, quickly show you uh, since ever uh we started COVID 19 as you see the 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 the, the total assets on the balance sheet of the uh, uh the fed has been rising quite dynamically in the first half of two of last year obviously and now it has only been uh, going constantly higher and uh i think this is not going to change this like, at least the uh, message we're getting from the fed officials officials first of all from mr powell that we are still way ahead of uh uh, going into some kind of uh, tapering of the asset passage uh, purchases and this is not going to happen anytime soon uh, so i would be pretty cautious and stay you know patient and uh you know believe in the fed uh, i i have that saying don't fight with the fed and i'm going to stick to it definitely one other thing to remember when uh, you know markets are uh, basically in the red this morning this is the reading from the uh, of uh, from the 16th of july so from the 
uh, end of last week. The fear and greed index by CNN was at 23. So this morning, we, uh, when the US open, uh, opens, we're possibly going to see it yet lower. And, you know, we're just a couple of po po points away from all time highs. And there is so much fear around. Uh, I have also written a post on this one uh, last week. I'm happy for you to uh, take a quick read on it uh, on my feed, uh, if you please. Uh, but, you know, be 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 aware that there is quite a bit of uh, stuff that is basically now in fear or extreme fear territory, especially uh, stuff like you know number of uh, stocks hitting uh, fifty two week highs or hitting fifty two uh, week lows and some other indicators that have to do with uh, the equity volatility, like for instance the. Uh, the put call uh, ratio or the uh, McClellan volume summation index. Uh, and we have the results coming in, uh, right? The, the reporting season is, uh, is um, already underway. Started last week with a bunch of pretty good numbers, but the tendency was basically to sell the facts. Uh, today we will have, uh, you know, the continuation of it. This week we are going to see uh quite a bit of blue chips reporting like uh, for instance as you see here johnson and johnson we'll see coca-cola we'll see honeywell ibm intel netflix and some others so uh given the fact that uh the year on year uh dynamics are expected to be quite good plus 65 66 percent uh, year on year eps dynamics uh obviously the the bar is quite high and uh you know it's not gonna easy be, be easy to beat it but you know most of the analysts are expecting the number the, the the reporting season uh to still uh be very good uh year on year dynamics are mostly because of the uh weak uh, and low basis from last year uh, but I'm still expecting quite a bit of positive uh, surprises in the uh, uh, numbers to come uh, so uh, I'm uh, staying calm uh, using uh, the buying the deep opportunities and uh, you know we are well prepared as a portfolio to go through uh, this kind of uh, dips in our global leaders portfolio, which I invite you to take a look at uh, in your spare time. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you guys and uh, have a happy trading this week. Thank you.